Welcome guys. In this video, we will see how can we determine stability of a system, by its pole zero plot in MATLAB. And at the end of this video, I'll give you guys, a bonus trick to know stability of system without knowing the pole zero plot. So, stay tuned with us till end. Before we started, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Without wasting any further time, let's start the video. Let us consider, this problem. We have a negative unity feedback closed loop system, where gain of system is given. To determine the stability of this system, we are going to follow few step-by-step -step procedure. Step number one. First, we have to find the closed loop transfer function of system. It can be done manually, by using formula. Sometime, it can be a tedious job. As you know we are lazy. So we will use MATLAB, to get the job done for us. Let's dive into MATLAB. Open your MATLAB, and open a new script. First we have to define the gain of system. So, create numerator and denominator variables which contain coefficients of numerator and denominator polynomials respectively. If numerator or denominator are not given in polynomial form, and given in factor form, use convolution to multiply two or more factors. We will use, can, function. Now, we use, tf, function to create our gain transfer function. To check, if our gain is correct. Run the script. Here you can see gain function. In the problem, we have negative feedback system. So, we use, feedback, function to create the closed loop transfer function. Put 1 at feedback gain. By default it sets to negative feedback. Run the code and we get our required closed loop transfer function. Step 2. Now, we have our closed loop transfer function. Find out the poles of the transfer function. We can calculate the poles by putting denominator of transfer function equals to zero. For more than third degree polynomial, it's quite hard to calculate poles. So we take a little help from our friend MATLAB. To calculate the poles, we use pole function insides which put the transfer function. Here are poles of system. Step 3. Now everything is ready. We have our poles ready. We just need to plot them. By the help of pole zero plot. We can easily comment on the stability. If any of the pole lies on the right hand side of plane, or multiple poles lies on the imaginary axis. Then the system is unstable. Other than that, it is stable. You can manually plot the poles on the paper and determine the stability of system. But we are going to use MATLAB for that. To plot pole zero plot, we use PZ plot function. Run the script. Here is our pole zero plot. As we can see there are two poles lies on the right side of plane. Hence, this system is unstable. Finally, we learned a lot of things. But wait! There is a bonus trick for you. Stability can be determined without plotting pole zero plot. Istable, is a function which return a logical value of 1, true. If the dynamic system model sys has stable dynamics, and a logical value of zero, false, otherwise. Let's verify it. We can clearly see that it returns zero. Which means system is unstable. It is time efficient method. That's all I got for this video. 
I hope you learned something new. If this video helps you, do like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.